Hi there! Are you having to bring back your cows and sheep from escaping your farm? Well, don't fret, because in this year of 1867, we have a farming revolution. So let's talk to the man himself, Lucian B. Smith. Where do I look? Here? Oh, oh. All right. I call my invention the barbed wire. Not barbed wire. Barbed wire. With my accent, they all sound the same. As you can see, its sharp edges keep your cattle in, as well as your mother-in-law. As you can see, the points... Oh, oh, it seems I pricked my finger. Ow, oh, call the SWAT someone, call them. Look at that, I'm bleeding. Tastes like pineapples with a with a hint of death. Uh, I think I need a doctor. The barbed wire is the invention of the century. And if you don't believe us, listen to these happy customers. Thanks to barbed wire. And now I can go to clubs. With my new barbed wire, I can keep my cows in all day. And you can get the barbed wire for not 50, not 40, but 30 cents. That's right, you get 30 feet of barbed wire for 30 cents. This deal will only last for a little while, so buy now. And if you order now, we'll throw in a free pack of commercial gum. Barbed wire, it'll keep those cows in. So I said to the guy. You'd be scared if you saw that in your room in the middle of the night. No. Not the pillow pattern. This. Okay. As you can see, it's sharp edges. As you can see, as you can see, the points. Okay, this is a necklace. I'm bleeding. What kind of management is this? Call them. Gregory. Patricia. I look hot. Farming revolution. Revolutionary year of 1867, we have a farming revolution. I said revolution twice. Why is there a bobby pin on the window? Well, don't fret, because in this year of 1867, we have a farming sub it's a revolution. You've never heard of it? No. Why would I hear that? Because you're dumb. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha